Today, we have the release of many new Cobra Kai Season 5 photos, including the long-awaited return of Mike Barnes. We'll be talking about all these photos today. Hi, I'm Ken Cole, and if you're a fan of Cobra Kai, you've come to the right place. Be sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for all new information regarding Cobra Kai Season 5. And today, we have some very special news. Uh, we've talked a lot about it on this channel. We have been looking forward to the return of Mike Barnes. And today, it's confirmed that he's back. So, let's take a look at all of these photos and see what we can learn about Cobra Kai Season 5. So in the first photo, we see Johnny, Daniel, and Chosen all standing together at Miyagi-Do. So this is great because it shows off that they really are forming a team and they are going to look to bring down Terry Silver and his version of Cobra Kai in the Valley. What's interesting about this photo is we see it's at Miyagi-Do, but we have a lot of new characters in the back. Who are these characters and why are they at Miyagi-Do? They look like they're standing with Johnny, Daniel and Chosen. So are they going to help run the new Miyagi-Do karate franchise? Are they going to launch a rival chain of dojos? So in the next shot, we see Amanda and Carmen standing together. It looks like at the LaRusso home and they look a bit worried. They're getting news maybe of some kind. Amanda's trying to figure out some information, but it looks like Carmen and Amanda are very well dressed. So is there an event? Is there a special event that's happening? What are the circumstances here and who is involved and who might be in danger? Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so this is really interesting. We have a lot of our favorite characters who are bowing together, but look who's all together in this photo. We have Dimitri, Robbie, Anthony, Eli, Mitch, Sam, Nathaniel, and Chris. They're all bowing together. Interesting. This means that everyone's maybe on the same side now. A uh, Robbie finally coming over maybe to train with Miyagi-Do. One person we don't see is Miguel. And this could be because he's in Mexico or this could be after Mexico because Robbie, as we know, goes with Johnny to Mexico to find Miguel. So I'm curious, why is Miguel not in this photo? And we know Tori is training with Cobra Kai, so that would make sense. But where is Miguel? Is he in Mexico or did he defect? Okay, everyone, here he is, Mike Barnes. Now, I can't tell you how excited I am that Mike Barnes is finally returning to the Miyagi-verse in the Cobra Kai series. But I mean, look at this guy. This is the shot that we've been waiting so many years for. As you can see, Mike Barnes has that intensity. He is ready to fight. He's dressed in all black. I mean, and look at his getup. You know, black shirt with, with a really nice black vest. So I'm wondering if this is related to that formal event that we saw with Amanda and Carmen, or if this is another event, or if this is just how Mike Barnes dresses. But it does seem like he's got some cash. He has some money. He's done well for himself, which we know he was always very business-minded in Karate Kid Part 3. If we look at his left hand, we see that he's married. So Mike Barnes is married to someone. Who could he be married to? I know a lot of people have speculated, did he get married to Jessica from Karate Kid Part 3? I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and where is he right now? Is he at someone's house? It looks like there are tables and chairs. Uh, or is he at a restaurant? Or is he at perhaps like a country club, like Encino Oaks Country Club? Uh, so let me know where you think Mike Barnes is in this photo. And of course, the big question, who is he facing off against and who is he angry at? It could be anyone. Could be Daniel. Could be Terry Silver. We don't know. So this is a very interesting shot. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have any thoughts on what is going on in this photo. So this next shot has Kenny center stage. We see Kyler there on the left. And this is at the new Cobra Kai Dojo. We've seen similar shots in the trailer. In the very back, you can kind of make out uh, Terry Silver's lit up mural of himself, you know, the Cobra Kai dojo. So um, this will be fun to see what happens at this new Cobra Kai dojo. And this is a great shot. It looks like Terry and Amanda have met. Amanda looks very suspicious of Terry. And it looks like Terry Silver is trying to charm Amanda, try to persuade Amanda. He's gotten her a drink. Uh, but she definitely seems like she's not quite buying it. But this could be part of Terry's plan to try and persuade Amanda LaRusso, maybe to think that Terry's not such a bad guy and that Daniel's crazy. Uh, where is this? This looks like a very nice place. Could this be Encino Oaks Country Club? 
Could this be some kind of event, a corporate event of some kind? Could this be related to LaRusso Auto? Are they having a corporate event and Terry Silver showing up? Is Terry Silver offering help to Amanda financially for some reason? We, we don't know. Okay, this next shot, we see Tori walking in the Cobra Kai Dojo door. She's carrying her trophy. She doesn't look happy. And we see Terry blurred out in the foreground. So he's obviously thinking about something and hasn't seen that Tori's come in yet. Obviously, Tori knows that Terry threw the tournament in her favor. So she did not win fair and square against Samantha. And I'm wondering if this is why she doesn't look too happy. Is she coming back to maybe give the trophy back to Terry? Is she coming back to confront Terry about the fact that she didn't win fair and square? Or is Terry upset and he knows something? He knows that she overheard his conversation with the ref and he's getting ready to confront Tori about what she knows and maybe her loyalty, that type of thing. Uh, it's a very interesting photo. Uh, let me know what you think is happening in the comments. Okay, so the next photo we see Robbie, Miguel, and a lifeguard at, this looks like the water park that was hinted at in the trailer where Miguel and Robbie have some kind of fight or disagreement. I'm wondering if this is before or after that fight, but it almost looks like this lifeguard is breaking up a confrontation between Miguel and Robbie. So obviously this is after Miguel has made it back to the United States from Mexico. At this point, he has maybe found his father and knows a little bit more about his background, his family. Maybe he learned some unpleasant things about his father. Maybe it wasn't a great experience in Mexico, but uh, he is back now. But in everything we've seen so far, Miguel and Robbie, when they're back, are fighting. They're angry with each other. Maybe this is related to why we don't see Miguel in the shot earlier of all the students bowing together. Maybe Miguel has gone away from Miyagi-Do and maybe gone away from Johnny and maybe he's going back to Cobra Kai to work with Terry Silver. I don't know. I don't want that to happen, but you know, it maybe that's that's exactly what's going on right now. So maybe Miguel is training at the Cobra Kai Dojo with Tori and the other new students. So I don't know, it'd be interesting to see what Terry Silver could do with someone like Miguel, who's very talented and driven. And maybe now Miguel has some negative experiences that, of course, Terry can manipulate and really dig into to control Miguel. So we'll have to see what happens. This is the first shot where we see Sensei Kim Daun. This is the new sensei that Terry Silver has brought from South Korea to help run his Cobra Kai dojo. And if you've seen my previous videos on Sensei Kim Daun, this is a very important character because she could be related to Master Kim Sun Young, who taught, as far as we know, Terry Silver and John Kreese and was uh, maybe the founder, the originator of the Cobra Kai fighting style. Sensei Kim Daun could be related to Kim Sun Young and she could be a master in her own right. Or she could have the skill level of a Terry Silver and she looks like she will be directly training all the Cobra Kai students. On the left-hand side of the shot, you can barely see Tori. And on the right-hand side, I believe this is Devin. So uh, in the next shot, we see Devin training with Tori. From what we've seen so far, we've seen that Sensei Kim Daun was training Tori in something similar to the Quicksilver method. So she might be very much a no mercy type person. So she is going to be training all of her students very hard and possibly very painfully. So we'll have to see what happens with Sensei Kim Daun. And in the last photo, we see Devin. It looks like Devin has joined Cobra Kai and she's training with Tori. And a bunch of new students are in the background. Potentially in the back left, we see one of the new senseis of Cobra Kai. But the interesting thing is Devin is with Cobra Kai. Now, why is she with Cobra Kai? In the last All Valley tournament, she fought for Eagle Fang. She trained with Johnny. So what's going on? What made her change over to Cobra Kai? Uh, is she genuinely wanting to train with Cobra Kai? Did she befriend Tori? Or is it possible that she's still really on the side of Johnny and Daniel, but maybe she's doing some reconnaissance? Maybe she's training with Cobra Kai to see what's going on over there? I don't know. It's interesting because, you know, you got the sense that uh, Devin was a really solid, very smart student. Maybe Terry Silver being very intelligent and uh, very persuasive convince someone like Devin to come over and train in the Cobra Kai school. So I don't know, this is gonna be really interesting to see what happens, but it looks like Devin and Tori are getting along at this point at the Cobra Kai 
Dojo. So there we go. Those are all of the new photos that were released today. It's very exciting, wonderful to see Mike Barnes back. And I'm curious to know what you think about all these photos in the comments. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Uh, you'll help this channel grow. And of course, you'll be alerted to all the new content coming out regarding Cobra Kai and movies and Karate Kid. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.